Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. It's March the 8th, 2024. And uh, headlines coming out this morning. I was watching a little bit of, of News Nation this morning. Uh, it just happens to be the only thing that's on the TV here in Florida that I have. Uh, but anyway, in News Nation, they were talking about the parents of Ethan Crumbly, uh, the young man that uh, in 2021 gunned down uh, several students at Oxford High School in Oxford, Michigan. And as they were talking about the case, I was listening to it kind of half, half heartedly at the time. Uh, they're talking about the State of the Union address and Biden going after Trump, things like that. Then they got into uh, Ethan Crumbly's parents, specifically his father, uh, who is on trial, his, his mother on trial, uh, now for allegedly, you know, the reason why he had the gun, shouldn't have had it, and they could have controlled it, could have stopped this, <clears throat> all this that's going on there. And I don't want to, and, and, and bringing out the, the, my thoughts here that I want to share with you on this video, this is in by no means any way to diminish the uh, heinous crime that took place uh, neither the loss of life for those those that had loved ones that died in this tragedy. It is absolutely a tragedy. But if we don't get to the bottom of what's really going on uh, and what really caused this young man to do what he did, and just like in the case of the Florida shooting as well, another, in my opinion, skull to brain technology that caused both these young men to do what they did. And, and I believe it's on the altar of disarmament of America. And, uh, and, and it is a tragedy. I, I look at the headlines here on your screen here. The thoughts won't stop. Help me was written on his uh, drawings there that the teacher saw in the classroom. The thoughts won't stop. Help me. Remember the young man at the uh, high school in uh, just south of Orlando, Florida there that, uh, some years ago that killed all the people there, or at least allegedly he did. Oddly enough, uh, other witnesses, including one student and a teacher that said, what are the police doing here shooting everybody? Well, all along, that guy that was allegedly accused of doing the shooting was walking out with students. There's an agenda to, to disarm this nation and scalded brain technology, uh, or as what some people even call intrusive thoughts, may really be the culprit behind this. And so the ones that are really guilty of the death of these students may not be the ones that pulled the trigger as much as those that pulled the trigger to control their brain. I want to show you, though, real quick here. This is the, uh, the some of the open statements uh, on the... Uh, Oxford School's dead on trial of the James Crumbly day one. Listen just for a brief here on this. James Crumbly didn't mention anything about the severity, the real circumstances of the shooter's friend being taken from him. They didn't just fail to inform in that meeting, though. They also failed to act. It was recommended at that meeting that James and Jennifer Crumbly get help for their son's dead immediately that day. And they were provided with a list of resources with mental health providers. That were His wife shaking her head no and in disagreement. No at you know, and, and, and granted, prosecutors as well, I don't know if I could even blame them because do they know what's going on? Listen, several years ago, I got a message given to me when I was asking about the Voice of Skull technology from a very high-ranking official there in Washington, directly with the Joint Chiefs, you need to calm down on speaking about that issue there. He said, not that I wouldn't be glad to see you expose what's going on. He said, but it'll cost you your life if you continue to push that issue on skull to brain technology. He said, they don't want the public knowing what our capabilities are here in the government and what they're really doing. Yeah. I can believe that. School shooter Ethan Crumley faces mass shooting victims uh, this With year. The teen who pled guilty so to fatally gunning about. down four of his classmates. But before he learned his fate, he got an earful from survivors and families affected by his deadly rampage. As Amber Cogliano reports, the dad of a 14-year-old victim said there can be no forgiveness. And when it was Crumley's turn to talk, he said, quote, I'm a really bad person. 
shackled school shooter Ethan Crumbly shuffles into court to learn his fate. And what the now 17-year-old killer heard were cutting words as one by one, victims and their family members rose to denounce him. I remember hearing a squish sound again. And that's what's really sad, as these families, they can only see what this young man did, because after all, he did. He did pull the trigger. He did shoot the people. And, uh, and, and my only desire is that he would have cried out to his parents, say, look, I got these voices going on in my head. I can't get them out. I need help. You know, because granted, he, is, he was being bombarded. And for the victims, if you ever happen to see this video, I'm, I'm adjuring to you as well to consider one of the greatest conspiracies that the government has ever done against their own people. I know this because I was given the intel, the whole issue that happened in Egypt that, that brought this huge eruption where the, where the young man set himself on fire was done with skull to voice, uh, voice to skull technology. And that's how they got the Arab Spring started. The black man that set himself on fire in front of the Washington Mall was used voice to skull technology. And he set himself ablaze. They were trying to get the people to riot in America. I knew that from Intel as well. And they said when they want to get somebody to do something, including in the school shootings, they, they watch online to see who's already a little bit on edge. And then they target that individual. I want you to hear something before I play. This is from the same clip, same video, but I want you to hear this one portion right here uh, in this video here, what this man says about the voice to skull technology. You're getting a lot of echo from the room. Much of it is people pleading for help because they've been hearing voices in their head for years. And now this technology explains it. If it's my sound, Turn your head, plug your ears, cover your head, sound goes away. If it doesn't, it's not me. Hypersonic sound is perceived through the external ear of the subject. There links can be available. Now, that's, he's letting you know how to tell when it's from you and when it's from an external source. Let me uh, play a different clip for you here. We'll have to look at the subtitles here because it was it is an English video, but I can't find the English video, but at least we can see the um, the actual words here on the screen. Generate a microwave pulse. It's called a digital hug. It goes through the walls too. No one silent sound. Steady, tons of this is criminal modulation voice wave. The ear hears a hiss, and the brain hears a voice or voices. This is a form of analog sound. It does not go, th excuse it does not go through the walls, and then we can combine the two methods. We use the output of methods two as an input, methods one, and it goes through the walls. Similar to the radio station with you like, in this case, don't need a receiver for your radio. I have to have a receiver with the mixing without any other you can hear it without any other device so I aim it at you and it happens to hit both of your ears I don't want to say that it will be like a sound in my in my head this time I come from the room and most of them people who are asking for help because they have been hearing voices in their head for many years now and this technology explains it that's the amateur side yeah I was told that's the amateur side of what the capabilities are the U.S. government has now. They're projecting thoughts to your head. This is, this is horrendous to know that they have this type of abilities. And then you see the thoughts won't stop. Help me. Please detail the note drawing teacher found on the desk of the suspected Oxford High School shooter. And then when I listen to his uh, statement, when his attorney gets him to plead guilty instead of the insanity plea, 
Insanity would have been better, actually, because it's not that he wasn't, it's not that he was insane, but they take with this voice to skull technology and they drive the person crazy with the thoughts, thinking that they have to carry out these thoughts. The true gunman is the one in behind the scenes projecting the thoughts into the brains of these poor people. And they can't escape it. They can't escape it. And, you know, it's interesting, the young man, I think, in Florida would say that, you know, I think he thought God was telling him to carry out the shooting. He, he made the comment, I kept hearing these voices in my head. But these people get convicted, having no idea. You know, it's interesting. It's kind of like in a spiritual realm, Satan just keeps hammering a person with thoughts in their head. That's the intrusive thought. And he keeps putting it in there over and over and over and over until finally people act upon those thoughts. And if you ever come to that place where you would ignore those thoughts, like in the case of Satan, Satan will flee. He will leave you. But when the government's doing it, they're just not going to let up. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Subscribe, please. They are taking you off faster than you are subscribing. Upwards to a thousand people a month are removed from this channel. Many of them don't even realize they've been removed. Click the like button, if you would, please, and share it as many places as you possibly can. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Thank you.